There's this song I grew up on called Lisa Siglapi. Translated from Afrikaans, it means Lisa's piano. It tells the story of a man who has a friend who is an artist. She lives in Cape Town, plays the piano with the doors of her apartment wide open. He stands on her balcony, sips her apricot tea, watches the city lights in the black, black sea, and as the chorus goes, Yori yele varolt, wordsto. The entire world falls silent and listens to her melody. It is the first song that touches down, takes root, and grows into something living inside me. I am nine years old. When my parents pack my house into a box and ship it to a country I didn't know existed. When my family immigrates from South Africa to Canada, I am young enough to adapt easily, but on nights when Africa will not leave me be, when everything is foreign and cold and distant, the song swells in me, pulls me closer to some great longing for a place I have loved and lost. It bursts from the speaker, floods the floor, begins to morph until it isn't a song anymore, but a door. I enter and find my childhood rising around me. It is Africa in melody, my family at a Sunday gathering, my mother's guitar in the hallways, gooseberry jam on toast, watermelon floating in swimming pools, the moon hanging over Table Mountain, my grandmother sipping rooibos tea on her bel balcony, a kite string tethering me to who I was when I was still young enough to believe I might grow up to become a mermaid. <laughs> It is everything I need when I need refuge. It is the place I run to when I long for home, to Lisa and her piano and the story of a song that has the power to quiet the entire world. And when I do, I am reminded that art is not art, it is alchemy. It transforms the ordinary into whatever it is our souls need. Maybe, Maybe it starts off as a song, a painting, a poem, or a dance, but when given the chance to touch down, take root, and grow into something living inside you, it transforms entirely. Maybe, maybe it becomes a life raft, something to cling to as everything around you is sinking, or a window to crawl out of as the building is burning, or a steering wheel, a wing, the wind, something to guide you, carry you, move right through you, or a road when you're surrounded by dead ends, or a clearing in a forest, nothing but moss and mushrooms, a place to take off your shoes, your masks, your burdens, dance naked in moonlight, body meets midnight, or a mountain to stand on, a river to follow, a star to wish upon. Art is never just art. And artists are not just artists. They are arteries in the practice of delivering whatever it is we need to keep breathing, to keep our hearts pumping. They create something out of nothing, gift it to us and say, here, take this, just keep going. I am 33, standing on my friend's balcony, sipping peppermint tea as I watch the lights in her eyes fade into a black sea when she tells me her mother is dying of cancer. I gift her a book of Mary Oliver's poetry, and in the final weeks together, the poems in those pages transform into mycelium, connecting them through some sacred, mysterious, invisible force that keeps them going until her last breath. Somewhere, someone in the world is waiting for something you haven't even conceived of yet, just to help them keep going. Chris Kumbais didn't know that when he wrote and released Lisa's piano in 1994, it was already on its way to transforming into a door, a place I could enter and find home. Till this day, when everything is foreign and cold and distant, I listen to this song I grew up on. In the Yilavaro Vortsto. In Leister, and in Donker Eid, not in Nachleider, von Lisa Seklafie.